Alright, what's going on guys? Uh, so, I did a video yesterday, uh, yeah, saying that, you know, it had been found that they were going to put in the main court of the Madrid Open, and now it seems they've, a day later, they've released new information, finally, on what's going to be included in the Roland Garros edition. Um, now, the way things are worded, it almost seems like it almost seems like this is going to be a completely new purchase, like possibly even a, a, an entirely new game purchase, which would really be disappointing because, like, the, just the way they've worded this last part, fans of Tennis World Tour can expect a large up to the update to the base game soon, like. I don't know if that means there's going to be an update to the game itself prior to this coming out in preparation for it. I don't know. Like, it's still unclear if it's going to be DLC, pay, like paid DLC, an entirely separate thing, or or if it's going to be a free add-on. Like, everyone who has the game deserves it to be a free add-on because it like it, it's it's been, it's just been a shit show since since its release um like clearly it shouldn't have been released really until may this year rather than may last year um depending how this uh large update goes that's evidently coming soon but on to the information one new male and two new female characters you would have to imagine the one new male would be nadal like it it, it, it has to be given the fact that like you cannot have a licensed Roland Garros without Rafael Nadal. You just can't. But I guess we'll see. The two female players is harder to figure out. Maybe I don't know. It's it's really hard to figure out who they might be. Um, maybe Simona Halep, given the fact that she's the, 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 the defending champion at Roland Garros for the women's. Uh, event uh, Naomi Osaka maybe I'd, it's really hard to guess like that one's harder to guess the male one should be relatively straightforward but yeah so it seems like they're going to include three courts from Roland Garros which is reasonable uh, and yeah just a one court from the Madrid Open so but um yeah, I am curious to see... Like, it's still weird, though, that... Yeah, it says the Madrid Open will be in May and Roland Garros will be in June in the career mode calendar. Like, I don't know why they haven't realigned that to make it so that, you know, that it it just works out that, like... It, it, there really isn't enough... There really isn't enough... Um, events in the calendar it is pretty limited so surely they could have matched it up to sort of suit how it would actually be but I don't know it's a bit weird but at least they've sort of given some information as to what is going to be happening like I find it interesting that some people are saying uh, and the gameplay with an awesome gameplay we don't need this release by um, Obviously, you know, some people have completely skipped over this bit where it said, you know, people who've got the game can expect a large update to the base game soon. Like, you would have to imagine that's going going to include more gameplay changes, which, you know, are needed. So, I, I, I find it kind of funny how people, how some people just completely skip over some things when, when not, not just Tennis World Tour, but like, just other things in general they, they completely skip over uh information and and then they just jump down the throat of, of the poster it's yeah it's, it's a little bit frustrating like I, I don't know if there's i don't know if there's like a uh language barrier or, or what but or or it's just people being a bit lazy and not reading the full thing and then just posting away but um yeah
it's, it's just, yeah, it's a little bit annoying to see that sort of thing, but I can, uh, interesting that people are talking about no way will it be Nadal when he's the cover athlete for AOT. Um, there's plenty of players that are in both games. It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. Yeah, like... I don't think Nadal would contain himself to just one game. Like... Honestly, I don't think he'll be restricted to just one game. I just can't see it. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully this update will be relatively soon because, you know, we're under two months until this apparent thing is happening. So I guess we shall see.